The whole raison d'etre of Constexpair. 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 Hi, my name is Thomas Kim. This is first video about template metaprogramming. We will discuss the whole raison d'etre of Kant's text pair, the reason of existence of Kant's text pair. Okay, let's get started. Start Visual Studio 2017, and I will open our previous solution. This session continues from my previous video, Template Metaprogramming All Three Difference Between Const and Const Text Pair. If you haven't watched this video, please watch it. Also, you can download the sample source code by clicking this link. And I already downloaded and I opened it in Visual Studio 2017. Right click Solution, Add a New Project, Select Desktop. Desktop wizard here. Const text peer all three. Click OK. Then unselect precompiled header. Click OK. Right click. Make it set as startup project. Right click once again. Property. All configuration. Make sure select all configuration. All platform. Then C++. Language, select C++17, okay, click apply, okay, say here, I will explain, say, context here is introduced to C++14, it is not meant for constant expression, it is for template metaprogramming. Context peer is a keyword to instruct the C++ compiler to regard expressions as compile time code. If you think constant expr is another constant, I think you have wrong idea about constant expr. Constant expr is const 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 text peer const is about a keyword to instruct C++ compiler to regard some part of the code as compile time code. Compile time code means uh, it should be interpreted while compile time. Here I will define Define my name Thomas Kim. It is a macro. Okay. So std cr my name is Thomas my name. If you understand if you understand context peer correctly, you have to understand why this keyword is introduced to C++, okay? So, first, we will define constant int size, for example, 10, okay? Declaring character name size. We can compile like this. Now, Ctrl F5, it will build successfully. Okay, my name is Thomas Kim. It runs successfully. Now I create another function here. int guess size return 10. I can change it to constant like this. And here guess size. Let's run it. Control F5. No, it doesn't work. Say guess size. This function returns constant int and we use constant int to initialize to size then it doesn't work. Wow, why it doesn't work? 
why it doesn't work. Okay, this function, get size, is a function for run time. Okay, so if if C++ compiler want to reserve memory, if C++ compiler reserve memory for static array, a character name, the compiler should know the size of array at compile time. In this case, even though this is constant, e, constant int, it returns constant int, since it is runtime function, runtime function, size, size is this variable size constant, constant is initialized, initialized at comp, at runtime, runtime. Okay. So once we disable, once we disable it, we give 10. For example, this is literal. This value is known at compile time. This compiles successfully. I press the control F5. It compiles successfully. But if we assign initialize this value and we disable it, we disable it, then it compiles successfully too. It is valid C code. It runs successfully. Then how can we make how can we instruct? The problem is how can we instruct the C++ compiler that get size should be evaluated compile time? How can we instruct C++ compiler that get size? This function should be evaluated at compile time. How can we instruct that? That's easy. We just change it to constant expr. Then here, it successfully work. Now let's try it. Control F5. Okay, it works. Okay, so if we it if we change it to const, it doesn't work. It doesn't work because it cannot be initialized at runtime. But if we change it to constant expr, then it works. That is the biggest difference. Constant, const expr is a keyword to instruct the C++ compiler compiler to evaluate eight the the expression at compile time okay i hope you understand what i mean